Hi, RPS families. My name is Miss Barker. I'm the librarian at Westover Hills Elementary School. And today I'm going to read you Saturday. The author is Ogie Mora and the illustrator is also Ogie Mora. So she wrote the words and she did the pictures, the artwork for this book, Saturday. This is read with permission by Little Brown Company. Our end pages have a calendar on the book along with some notes so we can tell that the characters in this book are very, very busy. There's a lot going on. Saturday by Ogimura. This morning, Ava and her mother were all smiles. It was Saturday because Ava's mother worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday was the day they cherished. On Saturdays, they zipped to the library for weekly story time. On Saturdays, they lounged in salon chairs and got new hairdos. On Saturdays, they picnicked in the grass for a peaceful afternoon in the park. And on this Saturday, they would also ride the bus across town for a one-night-only puppet show. The day would be special. The day would be splendid. The day was Saturday. Ava and her mother could hardly wait. Zoom! Off they went. But when they reached the library, story time was canceled. Oh no, Ava cried. It's canceled, wailed Ava's mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and Whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom, off they went. But as they left the salon, whoosh, their hairdos were ruined. Oh no, Ava sobbed. Our dues boo-hooed Ava's mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom, off they went. But their peaceful afternoon in the park was loud. Oh no, Ava groaned. What did you say? It's too noisy, yelled her mother. They paused, closed their eyes, and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today will be ruined if we miss that bus. So zoom to the extra special one night only puppet show they went we made it, Ava exclaimed as they arrived at the theater. Thank goodness, Ava's mother sighed in relief. Hooray for Saturday, they cheered. Tickets, chirped the lady at the door. Ava's mother reached into her purse. But the tickets weren't there. Oh no, Ava's mother gasped. I left our tickets on the table. As Ava watched, her mother crumpled. I've had it, she sighed. Story time was canceled. Our hair was ruined. The park was loud. And now we're missing the puppet show. I'm sorry, Ava. We looked forward to this all week, and I've messed up everything. I've ruined Saturday. Ava was quiet for a moment. Then she closed her eyes and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Mommy, Ava reassured her. Today was special. Today was splendid. Saturdays are wonderful because I spend them with you. So slowly, hand in hand, off they went. When they reached their apartment door, Ava turned to her mother. She had an idea. What if we... Ava started. You know we could, her mother began. And so they did. So here Ava and her mother are making their own puppet show. What a beautiful day.
I hope you enjoyed the story Saturday, written by Ogimura and also illustrated by Ogimura. I now have a few questions for you. A theme in the story is handling disappointment or the sadness we feel when something doesn't turn out as expected. How do the mom and the daughter, Ava, handle their disappointment? The girl in the story, Ava, her favorite day of the week is Saturday. What is your favorite day of the week and why? The mother and daughter in the story have a Saturday routine or activities that rarely, if ever, change. What is your Saturday routine with your family? So not only does Ogimura write the words for the book, she's the author of the book, but she's also the illustrator of the book. So she's done the artwork for it too. And she says on the very last page of this book, right here, we've got um, some thank yous and information about this book. She writes, the collages for this book were created with acrylic paint, china markers, patterned papers, and old book clippings. So a lot of the artwork that we see in the book Saturday are collages. A collage is a type of artwork where different types of material are pasted onto a surface to make a picture. And here we can see these pictures, these images from the book Saturday and how Ogi Mora has taken pieces of paper, cut them out and then glued them on to make another picture. If you want to know more about how this book was made, how the images, the collages were made, there's a great interview with the illustrator and the author, Oge Mora, that I highly recommend watching. It's about nine minutes long. Um, here's the link if you want to go ahead and take a look at that video for more information about the book Saturday. If you would like to try an activity, I have two activity challenges for you. The first one is, I would like to see if you can make a, your own collage. We see a lot of collages in this book. My favorite collage happens to be this one of the library here where she's taken different kinds of paper and she's cut them out and she has made her own library out of these different paper scraps. I also really love this collage of Ava and her mother getting ready to go out on Saturday. So we see them here. They're getting out of their pajamas. It's hard to point on the camera. They're getting out of their pajamas and we see them getting ready for their day, getting ready to go out. So um, Ogimura has used a bunch of different kinds of papers here. She has used a pattern paper for Ava's um, pants that she's wearing out some pink paper for Ava's shirt. There's blue paper here for the uh, purses that her mother is carrying, the bags that her mother is carrying. So we see a lot of the different papers that Ogi Mora has used to make her collages. So your first activity challenge is to make a collage of something in your neighborhood. It can be a building, it can be um, a playground or a park. Um, make a collage of a room in your home or make a collage of your family. The only things that you need to make collages um, are paper, scissors, and glue. In the story, Ava and her mother have tickets to go to a puppet show Saturday night. But when they get there, they find that the mom has accidentally forgotten the tickets back at home. So they go home and they make their own puppet show. So your second activity challenge is to make puppets and put on your own puppet show. We have a picture of Ava and her mom making their own puppets. And you can make puppets out of anything. You can make puppets out of paper, out of old socks. You can make puppets out of um, recycled items like cardboard or paper towel or toilet paper rolls. Puppets can be made from pretty much anything that you can find. So your second challenge is to make your own puppets and then put on your own puppet show. I hope you've enjoyed our story Saturday, written and illustrated by Oge Mora.